Find your breath. Find your mind. Where is your mind right now? It's like that old commercial. It's 10 p.m. Do you know where your mind is? Bring it to the breath. And find some haven in the breath. Ask yourself, what would be a good way to breathe right now? What kind of breathing would feel good? What way of thinking about the breath would make the breath more comfortable? Make this a good place to settle in. We come here to the monastery. We're able to get away from all the disturbances of life out in what they call the real world. A lot of us have to go back. And of course, you can't take the monastery with you, but you can take the skills. You have hear what John Sawat used to call our quiet corner. Well, you take a quiet corner inside yourself. Make your breath your quiet corner, where you have a sense of being separated from things outside. You have a little bit of seclusion inside. Seclusion both from events outside, but also seclusion from a lot of stuff going on in your own mind. There needs to be a part of the mind that's not getting engaged. So you have a safe place to pull out. It's like learning Thai boxing. The first thing they teach you is how to pull out. In other words, you're getting too close to your opponent. You realize the opponent is going to overwhelm you. You know how to back up in a way that the opponent can't hit you. You keep yourself protected, but you pull out. And then you can take stock of the situation. The same thing here. We live in a world where we have to pull out every now and then. We live in the worlds of our mind where we have to pull out every now and then. So make the breath the place where you pull out and gather your strength, gather your resources. Have a sense of well-being that's nourishing. Then when you have to engage again, you're coming from a position of strength. Ideally, you want to, don't want to leave this spot. It's just that you open the doors a bit and then you start engaging with the world outside. Stay right here with the breath. Stay with the sensation of the breath energy in the body. Sometimes it's too much to notice when the breath is coming in, when it's going out, because you have other responsibilities at the time. But you can have a general sense of how does your body feel, all the way from the top of the head down to the bottom of the feet. How does it feel? What's the energy? Is it tight? Is it restricted? Can you loosen it up a bit? And you can do this even in the midst of very strong conversations. Or stop for a minute when you're doing work that requires a lot of thought. Just get in touch with your body again. And this way you have your private corner, your quiet corner, your place of seclusion, which is also your place of strength. Because strength does lie in seclusion. When you're not scattering your energies around, you're gathering them together. And all the different good parts of the mind can help one another along. So make that what you take with you. So we carry with you all the place, all the places you go. After all, wherever you go, there's the breath. So take advantage of the fact that it's always there, ready for you. That's a place that will give you strength. <laughs>